Ravi, I'm Will. Get disciplined, get focused, get productive. Comfort, let's talk about it. When I overcame my anxiety disorders and moved back into life and into the world, there was a period of time in which I was making good, steady, incremental progress. And on all accounts, you could say things were getting better for me and life was improving. I had good friends, I had a good job as a project manager, which I was proud of and enjoyed. I liked my workplace, I sincerely liked my colleague, colleagues a lot, loved my boss. Things were going well in those domains. Had a range of hobbies I was engaged in, played guitar, uh, was deep into language learning, Spanish learning, would paint, would draw, enjoyed some acting classes here and there, loved nature, loved hiking, wellness, was deep into things like wellness and, and nature practices and all these ideas and theories and concepts that I, I had sincere joy in engaging with. That was me for many years, just setting a goal at the start of the year, say, let's get more responsibility, let's get a promotion, let's earn more money, and then doing the work incrementally, getting new certifications and whatnot, and attaining it. And it went on like that. Seems like everything's moving smoothly, right? That's where you'd be wrong. Objective reality always bleeds through. On the surface, it looked like things were going favourably, but I was in fact dying inside. I wasn't the man I wanted to be. I didn't have the life I wanted. The things that were really important to me were seemingly out of my reach. Also, in my person, in myself, I had really low confidence. I had image issues, low self-esteem, insecurities, and I looked a mess. I was 275 pounds, very overweight. My style was really bad. My grooming was not where I wanted it to be. I looked terrible. And often I felt terrible about myself. And it was difficult feeling that way. In addition, I was quite avoidant towards a lot of areas of life, which I really craved. I craved connection and, and romance and bonds and I just craved someone to be invested in me in some sense and just to be interested in me. Because for most of my life with low self-esteem I didn't think I was anything and I just wanted to be a regular person like everybody else. So I was in, in fact deep into workaholism to divert away from the underlying emotions that were part of my experience and I was deep into my hobbies to essentially just distract myself from the reality of my situation. But reality does bleed through. And in fleeting moments where I couldn't distract myself and where I wasn't diverted with life and friends and hobbies, then it would uh, dawn on me where I was and, and, and that wasn't where I wanted to be. And that could be harrowing sometimes. The fantasy of someday. This cycle went on for a while. It went on, in fact, for years. But the mythology was running in my mind that someday everything will be fine. I'll drop all the weight, I'll become confident, I'll become charismatic and engaging. My true essence will flow into the world and I'll be appreciated by somebody. I'll just, as if by magic, form a relationship with somebody and everything will come together for me. The more I got on with life, and coming to around 29, the more this fantasy just shattered. It was no longer tenable for me to believe that things were going to be okay, because I had no evidence to suggest they would. Um, I hadn't been on a date. I was 75 pounds heavier than I am now. I didn't look good, I didn't feel good about myself, and I didn't see why anyone would want to invest in me, or why anyone would want to go on a date with me. I didn't think anyone would be attracted to me, for example. So, um, it was just a few weeks before turning 30 that I had the most harrowing 
dark nights of the soul that I've had in that time of my life where I realized, all right, dude, it might not work out. That was the moment in which the myth of someday was just destroyed, man. And it was no longer possible to live in that fantasy world anymore. It was time to find a way to fix myself or die trying. So for me, I was galvanized to act. I was galvanized to say, okay, well, given that it's probably not going to be okay. And I've been comfortable for a couple of years, but that doesn't seem to be getting me where I want to be. I now have to just deal with this. And it was a laundry list of problems to fix. So many things were wrong with me. I was very, very fat, low confidence, low self-esteem. I'd never been on a date. I've never used a dating app. I've never taken like pictures of myself. I've never asked the g a girl out. I've, I hadn't done any of these things because I avoided them for so long, given my background with anxiety. So it was incredibly scary facing all of this. It really was. But what choice did I now have? I was extremely galvanized and I understood really what was going on. You see, as human beings, our biological impulse is to seek comfort and to avoid uh, expenditure of energy and minimize our um, engagement with activities that are arduous that will make us expend a lot of energy. It's a tendency that we have as mammals because our biology just wants us to re reproduce, procreate, continue the lineage a little bit, and then just perish. So that's the software programming that is running. And if you're comfortable enough with what's going on, then that will just direct your life. And you won't really amount to much. You will be mediocre, it will ensue. And um, given just the way my life went, and things that I kind of wanted but just didn't didn't get and the pain and suffering that anxiety previously placed upon me and then this realization it was so bad that i was galvanized to act and say okay fair enough i've i have recovered from my disorders fair enough i have worked really hard and gone promotion after promotion fair enough i've got skills and abilities now but i haven't got a life so yeah no more of this shit so the penny dropped and I signed up with Andy and he comes with another incredible coach, Cam. So those two men are the people who changed my life and are why I'm making this video now. Um, they made me a, a far better man and it was hard work, but I signed up with them. They pushed me, they pushed me really, really hard. And man, I, I lost the weight. I lost <laughs> working with them. I lost, well, all of it. <clears throat> and, and I'm now in, in better and better shape. I went from never having been on a date to going on about 100 last year. And I got the lovely experiences I was looking for. I got the bonding, the connection, just the closeness to another human. Um, I got to share myself with someone else and it felt great. It really did. Well, more than someone else, many someone else's. And that was awesome, it was needed. It was needed, I had a, a great time. I did, and I worked for it. It's taken so me two years of really solid work from that point when I was just on the cusp of turn 30 and now like 31. It's taken me two years and it was enduring tremendous amount of discomfort. That's put me where I am now. In the first year of my own self-improvement, it was pretty much non-stop discomfort. In the first dates that I was going on, I mean, the first like 30, my stomach was doing somersaults. I was anxious. My heart was about to beat out its chest. I was an insecure guy. I had trauma, I had pain, I had wounding, and it was getting triggered by what I was doing. Um, and it was unbelievably stressful. Truly it was. But I endured it because I knew at that point that comfort will kill you. It will totally derail your life. It did for me. Just enduring discomfort and the grind is part of the course. You, you're going to have to do that if you want to achieve more and see more and be more. The point of this video is just to highlight and to recognize that to get what you haven't previously gotten, you will have to be prepared to do things that you've not done before. You'll have to work harder. You'll have to be more focused. You'll have to engage in activities that are outside of your comfort zone. You'll have to do things you may find embarrassing. You'll have to do things that you may find trigger you or make you insecure or make you feel fear or make you feel doubt. And you'll have to do them to a ridiculous degree maybe every day like i had to but on the other side of that on the other side of that discomfort are good things 
and R, the experiences and positive situations and beautiful things that you can attract in your life. They all reside there on the other side of discomfort. The bottom line of this video is this. The pain of regret weighs far heavier than the pain of discomfort. I'm happy I did all those things to make myself a better person. They were horrendous at the time, but they made me better. And importantly, they did produce results that are undeniable. You're alive. You choose who you want to be. You choose where you want to go, what you want to do, how you want to function in the world, who you want to be around. That is on you. And no one in this world can create a rule or set about a policy or whatever it may be to stop you from realizing your human potential. That's not how it works. If you want more and to see more and be more, you can do that. You're allowed, you've got permission. So I say go for it because life is in fact abundant. We don't live in a scarce wilderness anymore. We live in a good civilization where hardworking people can realize more of their human potential. I know beyond any doubt Persistence, discipline, consistency, and commitment, and embracing the suck will inevitably lead to the results that you seek. In sum, this is an accountability reminder, and it's a reminder of the deep truths of the process of goal achievement. And if you want me to walk with you and coach you and support you on your journey and walk alongside you every day, and help you get over to the other side of whatever you're trying to achieve, then get in touch. I'd love to help. Ravi, Iron Will, checking out for the day. My love and appreciation to you, viewer, for watching my video. that you seek. In sum, this is an accountability reminder and it's a reminder of the deep truths of the process of goal achievement. And if you want me to walk with you and coach you and support you on your journey and walk alongside you every day and help you get over to the other side of whatever you're trying to achieve, then get in touch. I'd love to help. Ravi, Iron Will, checking out for the day. My love and appreciation to you viewer for watching my video.